Yo, what's up, guys? Everybody's up in arms about this. Junior DeSantis versus Steve A. Miochid. Everybody's up in arms saying, Steve, A. this dude beat Junior DeSantis. Yes, he dominated him in the first round, dominated him in the second round. Then in the, it looked like to me in the third and fourth round, Junior DeSantis was uh, coming on strong. And in the fifth round... Junior DeSantos was doing a hell of a lot. Um, am I a Junior DeSantos fan? No, I'm not. But I'm thinking in this fight, Junior DeSantos won the fight three rounds to two. That's what happens when you go to the judges' scoring cards. I just looked at Twitter and everybody's up in arms saying Junior DeSantos shouldn't have won this fight. He lost three rounds to two. But I can see that point. He was getting bloodied up. He did get rocked. He did get taken down a bunch of times. But... Miocha in the fifth round wasn't doing anything pretty much. He kept looking for the clock because he was literally gassed out. And to me, honestly, I didn't think this was a um, a screw job by the judges. I thought it wa- was going to go to Junior DeSantos. I was like, well, Junior DeSantos is really putting it on him in the fourth and fifth round. Really was doing a lot to win that fight. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And... You got to look at Dos Anjos versus Diaz. Diaz brothers are not known for really good wrestling, really good leg kicks, or really anything besides their boxing. They throw a lot of boxing, and they don't really switch it up with head kicks and all that kind of crazy stuff. But I got to give it to Nate Diaz for giving, for putting his heart out there and not backing down. Yes, he got leg kicked after leg kick after leg kick, but he was still throwing punches and bunches. But Dos Anjos is one of those dudes that I think can win the title and will be a dominant champion. He's a very vicious fighter. He was trying to finish Nate Diaz, and the Diaz brothers, like I said, they don't back down from nobody. And this is the first time I ever remember a Diaz brother losing in this dramatic fashion and not coming in in weight. He missed interviews and other stuff, so he basically lost a lot of his money because of not making weight, not going to interviews, not going to the open workout. This dude didn't really care. He just wanted to go in there and fight. Hopefully his brother comes out there and does the media stuff and actually meets weight and actually can compete at a level playing field with... Anderson, but this fight wasn't the fight I thought it would be. I thought Dia and Nate would have gave it a more of a closer fight. I thought it would have been more of a uh, contest, but Nate just got dominated, got whooped. So Nate Diaz in his last three fights is uh, one and two, losing to Josh Thompson, beating Gray Maynard, and then losing to Dos Anjos. This is really, Dos Anjos is uh, really on a tear, beating up Benson Henderson's last fight, which I still think Benson Henderson was not rocked, because if you clearly go back and look at the fight, Benson Benson Henderson fell, but he got immediately right back up, so I don't think he was rocked, but uh, with that being said, let me know what you guys think of these fights, do you think it was a screw job by the refs, or by the judges, that JDS shouldn't be the winner, and it should have went to Miochit, and do you think... Before this fight happened, you thought Diaz was going to be more dominating than he was. But uh, with that being said, you can always check out the fights at MMALinker.com or MMA-Core.com where you can watch the fights. Or you can always check out Facebook.com slash the MMA Underground where I post fights and interviews and everything MMA related. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. But this is just my take on the fights. You guys might have a different opinion. But I don't think the main event was a screw job by the uh, judges. I think it was a justifiable win. Because it was a hell of a close fight. Very close. So, um, as always, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.